In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can do a multiply blend where the blend is applied to a person in a video clip and not the entire scene. I saw this done in a promotion on TV for a local television station and I thought, how can you do that in PowerDirector? I'd like to show you a somewhat finished example and then we'll show you how we accomplish that using PowerDirector. The first thing we need to do is we need to take our person and I'm going to take this video of this gal and drag it onto track number one. Now I need a background that's transparent so I'm going to double click on it and get into my PIP designer. Once I'm there I need to go to the chroma key feature and activate it. Then I'm going to click on the eyedropper to chroma key a color. We'll pick the blue and we notice we didn't get all of it nothing to worry about. I'll simply add a second key and click it again and we'll click another one of the blue segments. We're not quite home yet. We can extend the color range if we want to a little bit. That will help somewhat. And if I wanted to I could add a third key. For the sake of our example we'll leave it at this for now and click on OK. Now I have this second video. What I'd like to do at this point is blend it, so I'm going to pick the ocean waves. I'm going to drag my video on track number two in the default stacking order, and that will give me ocean waves. Now the default blend would be that the video of the waves completely overwrites every pixel on track one. We're going to change that, but before I do, I, I want the waves to be bright and white because I want that part to be the one that we see behind her. So I'm going to, as I'm clicked on there, I'll move my time indicator over a little bit. And we're going to cut out the first few seconds of this. I'll do Control T to cut the video clip. And then we'll delete it. And we'll uh, remove it and fill the gap. So I've got these nice white looking frames that we'll be using behind her. Now that I've got that slightly adjusted, what I want to do is highlight it again. And with it highlighted, I'll click on the Tools menu and choose the Blending Mode option. Now the normal blending mode is the, the default. I'm going to click on the down arrow and choose the one that says Multiply. And click on OK. And now I see it's blended, basically for her, the other part of the scene is dark. So I've accomplished that. What I want to do now is I'll need to take this and render the segment I want to be using. Let's take this much of it and I'll simply produce it. I'll click on the Produce Range button. That will open up my video where I can produce it. We'll just call this New Example 2 and click on Start. I'll pause the video while we produce that. Now that it's produced, we'll go back to the edit. And I can basically start over. I don't need any of what I've done so far. So I'm going to delete the clip with the waves. And I'm going to delete the edited section with the girl. Now we're going to take my new example and my canyon shot. I'll take the canyon video, put that on track number one. We'll take our rendered section, we call new example, put that on track number two. I'm going to add some music and put that anywhere I'd like. I'll just put it on track number three. We have one more thing we need to do. We need to chroma key our modified version. So I highlighted it. I'll double click on it. We'll go to the chroma key option and I'll click on black. 
Now I've, I've got it too intense right now. I'm going to change the color range so we see a little more of her hair. There. And we're going to have a little bit of an issue here at this point, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll click on OK. And so when we play the video, now we're going to see the blending effect on the person and not on the background. And so this is a way in which you can do that multiply blend on an object and the other elements that happen to be in that video scene.